Hey guys, Nux is here and today we have a new event called Energy Amplifier Fruition. So in this event, we're going to follow NPC Hosini and it's going to give us places of interest to investigate. So we have Act 1 for today and we have here places of interest to investigate. So in these places of interest, there will be monsters that we need to fight. And let's go to the first place of interest. Okay, so once you arrive at the place of interest you're going to find some mutation stones so you need to destroy them first before fighting the monsters the mutation stones are going to buff um the monsters so it's it's easier to destroy the mutation stones first okay so mutation stones can grant massive bonuses to opponents so you, we need to destroy the mutation stones first So we can do some sneak attacks. Okay, so we can fight them now. Okay, so we have here our first set of rewards and let's go to the next place of interest. Okay, we have it here. Um, let's check first the drops, guys. Look for the mutation stones first. So we have two here. Okay, so we can fight now. So we have here our third place of interest. I'm guessing there will be three mutation stones here. We have one here. Let's roll. Let's climb to have a good look. There's one here. And 
I think there are only two. Okay, so that's the last place of interest for Act 1. And let's check again our event page. So we have here our fractured fruit course that we got from the um, investigations. Okay, so let's finish first the quest. Catch me. <laughs> okay, so we have here our our energy amplifier and you can now set your fractured fruit course and um just a note guys um it really depends on what on the team that you are using so for me i'm using ito so i'm going to use fractured fruit course and splinters that will benefit uh my my ito so let's check for the fruit course here I'm going for this one. Okay, maybe this one. Oh, you can only equip one fractured fruit core. And let's see. As you can see, guys, we have your motive force remaining, which is 750. So equipping your fruit cores will consume motive force. You can actually um, increase your motive force by clicking the plus here and you can click the friend friendly aid here and you can choose characters from your friends to increase your motive force. So the motive force will depend on how many high levels that you have and there's a maximum of I think 1k for me and for cope motive force there's 1 to 50 maximum. So you can choose at least 3 I think. Yeah, three from your friends to increase your motive force. There. So now I can continue uh, setting up my splinters. So I'm going for this one. And let's see. Maybe this one. Okay, so I ran out of motive force now. Let's go for charge attack. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so we have now our domain challenge. So go to domain. Oh, 
Oh, you can actually TP at, at the domain, guys. Sorry for that. Okay, let's select our difficulty. So we have your easy to expert. So I'm going to try expert. And let's go for less than 300 seconds. So not too difficult. Let's not go for the Uber difficulty. Um, this one, maybe this one. Uh, stamina consumption. So we're just going to target first 5k. Let's try. If you have Venti guys, I suggest you use it. You can also use Kazua. I think it's much easier if I use them here. Okay, it's not a really good fight, but that's how you do that the event, guys. So we're done with the domain now, and let's check our event page. So we have completed several achievements here. And we have our first clear reward. And Act 2 is going to open in one day, maybe two days, I guess. And then we have here Act 3. So that's it for the event, guys. I hope you find this video helpful and thanks for watching.